All right, guys, after a long day of work and my hair is getting sweaty and it's very sweaty, I got the pond dug out and I'm about to show it to y'all right now, but um, I'm gonna show y'all the waterfall section or the rocks I'm gonna stick around the pool or the pond. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go and get the stuff for it. But so I have that as the waterfall and then I have some other ones to go around it, the pond, and I have some more. And normally these would be expensive, right? But so when my house was built, they used rocks everywhere, like those kind of rocks. They used them around the pool, around the front yard, or like the front porch. And they had a bunch extra, and so they're just sitting there in the woods right now. So that's actually what I'm using. And then I'll probably, and I'm gonna show you all the pump or like the filter I made for it. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll catch back up when we uh, go get the materials and stuff. Peace. All right guys, so we just checked out at Lowe's and uh, I've gotten some rocks and the pond pump and the pond uh, tubing, but they did not have a liner here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Home Depot after I picked up a bag of rocks from there and uh, get the liner there. But uh, I'll catch up with y'all. But one thing I have been doing is at these places they have like these open bags and they've been like ripped but there's not that much stuff missing out of them and at home depot it's like 90 percent off and here it was still 50 percent off so that's some of the rocks i picked up because i've got them discounted all right guys i'll see y'all back at the house all right guys well as y'all saw from that last clip at lowe's i picked up everything i need including the pond pump and uh everything else except for the liner and the liner i ended up ordering online and it'll be here in probably about a day or two so this upload will be a little delayed but y'all see it but also i went to dollar tree picked up these like scrubbing things for a dollar this bin for a dollar and these i didn't buy there but you can get them there for a dollar it's like here here's a cut off piece of it it's like this it's small but what i have done is i made a filter box and uh, hold up guys, uh, I'm gonna send y'all to a clip of the waterfall that I've made. And uh, this is just what it looks like. I'm gonna get all the tubing and stuff moved, but uh, this is what it looks like. All right guys, well I hope that looked good. Um, right now I'm gonna work on this filter box. And also I just picked up some rocks in there, but I picked up some more rocks. These are just a dollar, of course, at Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna remove that. And I have my pump right here. And actually gonna feed this through here. Just like so. And uh, now I'm gonna take it and connect it to the pump. And now, what you do is, we have it in there, and I guess I'm going to cut a little hole for the wire to go through right here, but then we're going to take our little things and our little pads and just stick them in here, so that way they'll catch all the beneficial bacteria and help filter the water better. So now I'm going to have those sitting right there. And then guys, this is our homemade filter box. So, I'm gonna cut a hole right here for the uh, tubing to come out of. But then, look at that perfect $3 t uh, filter box made totally from uh, stuff at Dollar Tree. So I mean, pretty good. And the, the pump came with a 16 foot rope, or uh, what am I saying, electrical thing, so it should uh, be able to reach good. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up to y'all when we're, we get the liner and we're working on putting the pond together. All right guys, my tarp just came in the mail, so I'm so excited and I'm about to uh, unbox it and uh, start filling up the pond with water. All right guys, so I started by removing the lights and the rocks that I had gotten for the pond away from the edge and I laid out some old towels as like an underlayment. And uh, I have the liner right there, and it's a 10 by 13. So if I can dig more, I'll probably will. But I'm gonna need a little bit for the waterfall section. Um, but I'm gonna put the liner out right now. Okay, guys, so I got the tarp laid out, and it is a little wrinkly. 
But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up with water and if I don't like how it looks then, I'll uh, pump some water out and like reline it cause the wrinkles, but it's looking good. All right guys, it is looking very good. I know I kind of jumped a lot there. I just kind of like got in the zone and forgot about it. But so right here is where the cord is and I found this rock that looks like a heart and so I covered the line like that. Then it is a little blurry right now or like not that clear, but overnight it should clear out. And in the deep section, there is some rocks down there. I might need to add some more, but it will when it's clear, you can see those. There's the pea gravel over here and there's the waterfall and it looks very good. And all the solar lights are out. And right now I have to go get a few more rocks to finish rocking the wall and covering that up. But guys, this is looking amazing. And I'll probably be getting fish for this in the next video. So y'all have got to stay tuned. All right guys, so I got the new rocks and the pond is done. So I think I'm done with the pond. I might, I'm gonna uh, give you an update in the morning. Um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't clear up it by the morning, I will uh, pump some water out and pump some new in. But guys, this looks awesome. And there's a little bit of black tarp sticking out and stuff. So what I'm probably gonna do is for the edges, I'm gonna put some gravel around it. And for like the walls, I might put some more rocks, but I think it looks really good. Um, but that would be in a different video probably. So right here, I dug it back and put a rock on here, I'll show y'all. But as you can see here, it goes back and this rock covers that section. So it's like a cave. Right here, I found this rock that looks like a heart. I think I already told you this, but I made it kind of a cave, like it sticks up. And then this one goes on the wall and it goes in there pretty far and it's a pretty good size. And then right over here, there's one that I tried to make and it's not as tall, but it'll work. Right here is the waterfall, guys, and I think this looks, this is probably one of the coolest parts. I have all these solar lights around too, and like when it gets dark, they light up just like that, you see? I'm gonna put my hand over the solar light so it thinks it's dark. But yeah, guys, over here, like, there's a lot of black chunk, but I'll get that covered up in a later video. The next video is probably gonna be getting fish for this pond, which is gonna be so cool. So I'll catch y'all in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. So, as you can tell, it's still nighttime. And, uh, so, before I was going to show you all the pond, um, I was going to talk about how much it costs to build this pond. So, one area that I saved a lot of money on was the rocks. So, when my house was built, I think I already told you this, whatever, there was a bunch of rocks. So, those are in the woods. That's how I got all the big flat rocks. Um, but the little rocks, if you go to Home Depot, um, and like by checkout in the garden center, there's like these bags and they're like cut open from like the pallet or something, but um, they're like 90% off. And some of them are like, have like nothing in them barely. So I wouldn't get those, but you could get the other ones. And uh, at Lowe's, they have some things that are 50% off, which is still a good deal. So that's how I end up getting two of my uh, bags of stuff. So right here or here, I'm gonna have the prices so right now we are at I'm gonna start with the most expensive thing that was the liner it was like $63 so right here 68 or 63 sorry and then next was the tubing for the thing which was $8 so we're at 71 right here then we had the pump which was $35 so, and it's a 300 gallon pump. I might have to upgrade it, but I don't think I will. I think it's good. Um, and so that was 35 plus 71 is 106. So we're at 106 and we basically bought all the expensive stuff. So now we're gonna add in the rocks. So the pea gravel, one bag I bought was $4. So we're at 110. Bag of pond pebbles was $4. 114, 40 cents and two dollars so 240 so we're at 116 40 cents 116 dollars and 40 cents so far spent on the pond and then we had the three dollar filter box from uh dollar tree and that's our total 119 dollars and 40 cents if i'm correct it'll be right here it'll be right here um but 
yeah so i'll see y'all in the morning and uh, i hope y'all have really enjoyed this video the budget pond build i tried to swap it up and i've been wanting to do something like this for so long so um yeah and i finally convinced my parents to let me do it so uh oh wait one more thing we had the solar lights so that's gonna bring our total up to there were five there were five of them and they were all one dollar piece so that's we were at 116, right? So that's, I think it's $121.40. Like I said, it's kind of late, but it'll be right here what the real thing is. So, um, but yeah, I'll see you on the morning when the pond clears up. All right, guys, so it is the morning and um, the pond has cleared up a little bit, but one more day of clearing up and it should look uh, like fully clear. But uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, so, Hudson U12, out.